Hi, and thanks for taking the time to view our short video on Technology Advisor Starfish tool. Starfish is used to import and export data from a wide variety of data sources. Today, we're going to show you how to export data out of Salesforce and into SalesLogix. The first step in the process is to load the data map from Salesforce to SalesLogix. Now, in both cases, we're using the built-in APIs. So Salesforce has an API that allows us to connect directly to it. And then we'll bring that data across using the data map and then connecting into the S data to SalesLogix. Now that we have the data map loaded, we're going to go ahead and put in our credentials to connect to the Salesforce API. After we get connected to that API, the first thing we're going to want to do is export all the users, and then we're going to import those users into SalesLogix. So at this point, we've connected to the Salesforce API, we've selected the user table, and now we have to build some SQL to go and pull all those users down. And you'll see in the center of the screen a select statement that looks very large and complex, but it's really not. It's already built into the data map for us. So we can see what's in the database just by pushing a little refresh button there. And in this case, there's only one record or one user. Now we're going to use the ODBC connection to simply export the users from Salesforce into a comma delimited data file. Now we're going to import the users into SalesLogix using the SalesLogix admin screens. First, we log on to the administrator and select Import Users from CSV file. We then choose our user type, in this case network, select the file, and click Import. And you can see that our single user has been imported into the system. Now that we have our users set up, we're ready to go ahead and start importing the data. The first thing we're going to do is go back to our data map and select the first table, in this case, Accounts. The first thing you'll notice is in the center of the screen is some complex SQL. Again, that's provided with the data map, so you really don't have to do anything with it. If you look down a little bit, you'll see a refresh button, and when we push that, we'll get the first 10 rows returned from the Salesforce database. This lets us see the data that we're actually going to be importing. The next step in the process is to set up our target database. In this case, it's going to be the SalesLogix API, or S-Data Interface. And that's easy enough to do. All you do is enter your username, password, and the URL of where your S data interface resides. So at this point, we're ready to do our data import. We've hooked up to the Salesforce API. We've hooked up to the SalesLogix API. And Starfish already includes the data map. So you can see here on the screen, this is the account table. Everything's already been mapped for us. All that's left to do now is push run. And what's going to happen is, is each table, one right after the other, is going to be imported from Salesforce into SalesLogix. When Starfish finishes the import, it provides a report on each table that was imported and shows you how many rows and how many inserts were done. It also shows you at the very end of the report a summary of all of the tables. And that's all there is to it. We've taken all of our data out of Salesforce and successfully imported it into SalesLogix. Remember, Starfish comes with a variety of connectors, including ACT, CSV, Microsoft Dynamics, ODBC, Salesforce, SalesLogix, Sugar CRM, and XML. And we're adding new connectors all the time. So please, take the time to check out our website or give us a call. Thanks.